It was 20 years ago today. Where did that 20 years go, by the way? Whew. Just like that. <laughs> that Optus entered the telco market in Australia, paving the way for Vodafone, Virgin and others to follow. And as today's Mike Dalton reports, the humble mobile phone <laughs> has come a long way in two decades. In 1992, this was the cutting edge of technology, the Optus 977. It came complete with a gorgeous leatherette cover and extendable antenna. But despite being a compulsory business accoutrement when released, it's a very important meeting, that's why I'm using this big phone. Two decades down the track, the 977 okay. is positively pre-Cambrian. Just wondering if uh, you've ever handled one of these in anger. It looks like a walk, like some sort of walkie-talkie kind of, I don't know, camping equipment, doesn't it? Ever seen one being used in real life in the, in the wild, so to speak? I think my dad had one that size one day, back in the day. Do you want to handle it? <laughs> oh, that's just like an Oscar, isn't it? You don't realise how heavy it is. It's too bulky. Too got bulky. An, got an antenna. Easily puts in your side. Do you like the styling, the way that the antenna can come up and down? No, it's too old fashioned. It wouldn't fit in my pocket really, would it? Or in my bag, and my bag's pretty big. What do you mean? Look! Slides in easily. <laughs> See? I'm sure in the day when it was uh, released, it was at the uh, height of fashion, having one of those things hanging off your wrist, but uh, probably won't cut it these days. Big when the pharaohs were around, huh? Uh, I'm sure it was. Tutankhamen loved it. There was the occasional soul who remembered the 977 with some fondness. Hey, the new one's not bad, but I've seen this being thrown up against a brick wall and uh, the wall came off second. But the best visceral reaction came from those who were just a glint in the eye when the 977 debuted. Mobile phone technology. Oh God, what is that? <laughs> what do you mean, what is that? It's like bigger than a brick. If I dropped that on the ground, would that break? No, you could break your ankle. Even you can't text yeah. from it. Oh. But you it can... have letters on it. Yeah, well, because that's for the fax machine. That's attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> At least the 977 worked when you needed it. I'd like to report a busker on an acoustic guitar doing bad romantic ballads. Yes, he has a reverb. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Dalton reporting. I reckon they'll make a comeback, those folks. You think so? Yeah. Uh, there'd be a big plus that you wouldn't lose them at the, the bottom of your bag. I am constantly scrambling yeah. underneath, all, underneath all the rubbish that's in my bag. What do you have in that bag? Oh, you name it. You Carl. could clean the bag. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you no, because I've got every emergency and covered inside know. my bag. You never know. Exactly. In, in defence of the brick, how long does the modern mobile phone last? I mean, the, the iPhones true. and whatever. Mm. I don't get an iPhone because I watch so many people smashing them and breaking them and... You know, the old ones, at least they, they may have been a bit clunky, but they lasted, they worked. You couldn't kill them with a gun. Oh. No, these it's things are just... a very good point you make, Forda. Yeah.